Hi, this is Merrill Jenks with the Big Helper Real Estate Group, and I'm coming at you with a monthly update regarding your specific community. I know you probably see in the news and things about the market stats for all of Phoenix or in the newspaper or online, but I don't really know of any great resource that tells you exactly what's going on in your neighborhood. So I'm gonna be coming every single month with an update with what's going on specifically in Seville. Um, and uh, there's some really exciting things that are happening with the real estate market in Seville right now. So I'm excited to share some of those things with you. So right now there are only 30 active listings in the MLS. Now I wanna let you know I'm only gonna be sharing MLS data. Um, and the reason why I'm only sharing MLS data, about 10% of the homes that are selling are not selling in the MLS. Um, but a lot of the time those homes are not selling for fair market value. They're being sold to an investor and being flipped or you know to an eye buyer or things like that. And I feel like, you know, hey, the, the, the stats that really share like what for the most part is fair market value are the MLS listings. So it's possible that one or two homes are, are, are you know, for sale by owner or things like that that are not in the MLS. But again, most of the homes that are selling for fair market value are selling in the MLS. So again, 30 active listings in Seville right now, and those range from 265,000 all the way up to $2.29 million. Um, and uh, there's only four of those listings currently under $300,000. Now, in our MLS, we have some, some unique statuses when a listing goes under contract. Most of the public is only familiar with what we call pending. The seller has accepted an offer, but it hasn't actually, you know, it hasn't actually closed yet. But we have two other statuses that essentially mean pending as well, sort of. One is called under contract, but accepting backup offers. Uh, UCB is what we call that. And then the other one is CCBS, which stands for Contract Contingent on Buyer Sale, which means that the sellers have accepted offers, but they're still marketing the property for potential backup offers. So there's 14 listings in Seville right now that are in one of those three, you know, accepted contract statuses. And then in the month of August, 2018, 21 homes sold in Seville. Those range from 231,000 to 645,000. So for the homes that sold in the month of August, the cheapest to the most expensive price. Now, um, for all the homes that sold in that time frame, the average price per foot was $172, $172 per foot. And those homes were selling at 99% of the list price. In other words, you know, if you listed your home at, on average at 300,000, it was selling for 297,000, just 1% below the asking price, which is, which is pretty good uh, because, you know, in the whole Phoenix metro area, homes are selling for an average of about 3% below list price, which is a good sign of the level of demand that's in the neighborhood. Um, and then the average days on market for the homes in Seville is 53 days. Uh, and again, the average days on market for homes in the Phoenix metro area over the last couple of years has almost always ranged somewhere between 65 and 75 days on the market. However, <clears throat> that stat is a little bit misleading and here's why. Remember a few seconds ago I was talking about how we have three pending statuses, pending under contract but accepting backup offers or contract contingent on buyer sale. Well, if it's pending, it stops counting the days on market. But if it's in that UCB or CCBS status, the days on market keep counting. So depending on what the seller has decided to do with the home, sometimes it stays in that UCB or CCBS status all the way until closing. So the entire time that the home was under contract, uh, you know, when, when we talk about days on market, you could take one home that sold, it was on the market for a week, then they changed it to pending, and it's gonna show that it took seven days to sell that home. But if the status was changed to UCB or CCBS, they, they accepted an offer in seven days, but then it took 30 more days from there to actually close the home, then it's gonna show that the days on market for that home was 37 days. So when we say that the average days on market was 53 days, that's not typically 53 days to get an accepted offer. Uh, usually on average it's gonna be at least 10 to 20 days less than that by the time that the people put the home on the market to the time that they actually accepted an offer. And then only no listings expired in Seville, meaning you know an agent signed a listing agreement and it was on the market for whatever the term of that listing agreement was and then it didn't sell and it, it just came, you know, came off the market because it didn't sell within the time frame. But two listings did cancel, uh, meaning that the 
you know, the seller for whatever reason elected to cancel the listing before they found a buyer. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it was not selling. They, they may have changed their mind about selling or whatever the situation is. So I'm a little bit of a stat rat. So those are some of the stats about Seville. I hope you found it kind of interesting. Maybe you don't, maybe you think it's incredibly boring, but I think it's really cool. Um, but I want to kind of break down a little bit for you. What does this mean for you? If you own a home in Seville or you're renting a home in Seville or you're just kind of curious about the market, what does this really mean for you? Well, one of my favorite stats to look at is called the month's supply of inventory. And you kind of have to play a little game with it. You have to, pr to pretend that if no new homes came on the market ever, right? So, so starting today, nothing else got listed. How long would it take for every single home in the neighborhood to sell? Now, when we talk about month's supply of inventory, usually if the month's supply of inventory is around three or four months, it's a pretty balanced market. It's not a buyer's market, it's not a seller's market. Home values are probably extremely stable, not really rising, it's just totally flat and balanced. Um, if it's over four months, then it's a little bit of a buyer's market. There's a lot of homes available for sale and not very many homes selling. And then if it's at you know really low threes or in the twos or ones, uh, then it is very much a seller's market and home values are probably rising, just a kind of a factor of supply and demand. Um, so right now, in all of Phoenix, the month supply of inventory has been floating between about two and two and a half. And that's why we've been seeing home prices rise. In Seville, based on the number of active listings that we have right now and the number of homes that are selling each month, we've actually got a month supply of inventory of um, you know even lower than that. But I wanna explain what I did here. As I mentioned, the most expensive home that had sold in Seville in the last month was 645,000. So I didn't think it would be fair to include the million dollar listings and the $900,000 listings. It's kind of skewing the stats. That's kind of a separate market. So if I just look at everything under 700,000 in Seville that has either sold in August or that's kind of active on the market and the month supply of inventory is 1.14. So we're twice as competitive as Phoenix as a whole, which ultimately means you know, unless something drastic changes, World War III breaks out, we're going to expect those home values to continue to rise. Demand is still extremely high. Supply is still extremely low. And that is great if you want a home, the value is going up. If you are ever curious about the value of your home and you want something more accurate than this estimate, please reach out to us. Give us a call. Shoot us an email, smoke signal, anything like that. We live in Seville and we would absolutely love to help you. Thanks.